Hey, this is not a spring chicken. Happy Labor Day weekend. I almost said Memorial Day. Well, you know, it is a memorial, right? For labor. But we've had to come out over here today because you saw all these big flags. It makes you feel a little bit patriotic because, of course, the president's big news breaking. Oh, well, what's that about jobs? Oh, wait, and it's going to roll out over a month and month. That was breaking news. Well, anyway, wherever you are, have a happy Labor Day, and we're going to bring Old Camel with comments on the headlines of... Yes. I know. Can you believe this weather? I mean, it's... Well, here's part of it is, this is at the beach, and just, what, a mile or two, Well, maybe a mile in, it is somewhat sunny. Yeah, but it always shines on Monty's house. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the market collapses, and we are... Oh, actually, you know what? We're right outside. We're in Santa Monica today. Yeah. Oh, this is just north of the sun. But we picked the only thing that has any color and sight on it, which is the flag below. <laughs> and the market collapses on no new hiring in August and only layoffs. The unemployment rate remains unchanged due to Obama math. I know. They said that they're trying to figure out how if they if, if basically 51,000 jobs more were lost than were gained, how in the world do you not have the unemployment rate go up? Plus the fact they, re, they changed the unemployment rate uh, that changed the people that were actually hired for the last three months downward, which means it's an upward again on the unemployment rate. But for some reason, the way the president does math shows that the unemployment rate is actually dropping. And Obama is to be on at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Meaning no one is going to watch him. Well, yeah, they're going to be watching the football game, folks. I mean, uh, he, and that's 4 p.m. here. <laughs> yeah, that means there's nobody going to watch it at 4 p.m. here or at. Uh, or at 6 p.m. on the, in Central. It's just not going to be watched because, first of all, the people are not home here and they're eating there. So it's, it, it means that he's basically given up on the fact. Well, that, that, like they said, they made this grand announcement this morning. His plan is so immense and so great that he is going to roll it out over a series of months rather than do it all at once. And, he's, and his plan is unbelievable. He's going to, re, he's going to do with infrastructure spending, getting the banks to forgive all the loans on the people that basically aren't paying for their homes and raising taxes on the wealthy and businesses i mean that's just i mean that's got to be it's so grand and important and brand new it's got to be done over months don't you think oh of course and louisiana declares state of the emergency as storm alone oh yeah they've already had more water come into into uh, new orleans than they did during katrina and more water come into the states than it did during Irene to the North States, but there's no coverage down there. Mm. Because they don't even consider it, uh, it's basically a tropical storm as far as they're concerned. And Obama has announced mortgage modification plan. Uh, yeah, that's why he's threatening all the banks at the moment with criminal prosecution. That the uh, problem is, they said the banks are just going to fight him in the court system because they said they'll lose money going to court, they'll lose less money going to court against him than they will in the lit. It's good. Mortgage modification means that if you don't pay your bills, have no intention of paying your bills, he's going to give you your home for nothing, or virtually nothing, and he's not going to give the banks that are remodifying loans legal protection, and which means they're all going to be sued. I mean, I mean, I heard people, news people said they were going to personally sue him. Not as president of the United States, but they were personally going to sue him for uh, for what he's done to their homes because they're underwater now, and you know you pay people, you know people are paying, they don't get you know to keep their they know. Oh, it's a leash. Not actually. I thought it was a bug for a second. Oh, because no, I'm looking and other people are getting hit by the leaves. Yeah. And a mountain lion killed crossing the four or five freeway. There are no mountain lions in California. Again. There aren't. No. Well, what was he doing then? Uh, it, it did not happen because there are officially no mountain lions in California. Mm -hmm. So that mountain lion that was hit doesn't oh, exist. Unless it was somebody's pet. Yeah, but there are mountain lions in California, just the government doesn't understand it. Oh, inflation falls to record lows under Obama. Other, other than the fact that milk is up to over $4 a gallon, that gas, gas prices are going back up, you can't buy eggs for real price bread is going up sugar is going up but the problem is they said there's no inflation though because your homes are worth so little now that that destroys any inflation Ooh. and before you asked to sue big banks over mortgage securities yeah well because they uh, they made loans like they were supposed to do and now they're deciding that they were illegally made and half of americans drink daily soda and a sweet beverage 
Probably. I would think it'd be more than that. So would I. I mean, look at how many people. If you go to a fast food place, okay. We, if well, we, maybe, well, because it's a sweet beverage, which could be tea. That's right, because uh, we're going to go, you it know, could be water. we like to have McDonald's. Lemonade. We'll go eat McDonald's sweet and iced tea because it's got honey in it. But, and it's the it's the most calorie-ridden thing on the menu at McDonald's, I and know, we but like that it. that is so good. Because it's actually, honey is good for you, folks. And police baffled as hundreds of panties dumped along Ohio Road. Panties? Yeah, women's underwear came out of the back of a truck. <laughs> you know, they, you know, they, they basically somebody didn't fasten the things right, so uh-huh. it came out of the back of the truck. Which means somebody lost a fortune, folks. I know, and U.S. blocks it. U.S. moves to block AMT and his purchase of T-Mobile. Which you know, I, and they're still going on about this fact. AT and T is basically going to go to the courts now. They said that all we got to do is wait out this president. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, there's no. They said nobody with any reasonable. Okay. Well, but they've now pulled out the race card. The press, the national press wants him to fail because he's a black man. And they want the first black president of this nation to fail badly. It's because what happens is, is that, uh, okay, they, well, here was a bad thing this morning, which was totally, um, totally wrong. It wasn't from a Republican press member. It was from the mainstream press when they questioned the president of the United States for his, now that they said something to the effect that, Jimmy Carter is no longer the worst president of our nation, and his daughter was there to hear him say that. It was it said it was an irresponsible act by a member of the national press to say that. But it, it's the, what happens is, while the editors may worship the ground he walks on, and reporters are basically when they they, they see a blood in the water, they jump. They do. And some Democrats demand Obama to stop compromising. <laughs> I can't understand where he's compromised. That he didn't raise taxes, well, because he couldn't get it through the Senate control. He uh, didn't get card checked, couldn't get it through the Senate, you know, to the Democratic control. Didn't do immigration reform to make everybody sit, couldn't get it through the Democratic. Basically, everything that they wanted, he couldn't get through. He didn't get the national health care program he wanted because they wouldn't approve it. And he knows it, and he's going to lose it in court as it is. And they're wanting him to go, they said, go when, they said when things are bad, you go big. And big meaning taxes on the wealthy, more government spending. I think this morning I heard the Europeans are getting ready to bounce Urkel out in Germany because of the spending. They said that like Obama, she cannot get it through her head that she can't spend what she don't have. Recession fears ease on factory and hiring data. I love that. But see, nobody was hired. Factories aren't producing. And retail, okay, retail sales, <coughs> okay, uh, Macy's sales were 4.5% higher this August than they were last August when they were down by about 20%, which means the retail sales are actually down, not up, folks. And water is received that storm victims suffer in East. Oh, uh, it's water, it's, it's flood damage, folks. If you got a choice between your home burning down or, um, or, your, or getting the bottom layer of your home water log, and you just tear out all the bottom layer, <coughs> I think you'd rather have the flood than the fire or the earthquake. Oh, so I'll give a little thanks on your alarm. I know. General Petraeus hangs up uniform and warns on budget. Well, yeah, because they're trying to cut their... He wants to... Uh, the, the, the whole trick is is that if this so-called super panel doesn't do its work, 50% of the cuts are going to come from defense. And you can't cut a billion dollars out of defense because that is defense. And WikiLeaks denies charges it puts lives in danger. Uh, yeah, they, they won't win that one. It said that that's why he's setting, that's why he's uh, going to be tried. He's going to be found guilty, folks. Oh, really? Yep. An Arctic has great riches, but greater challenges. No. She just drill. I mean, they're tr- this is the environmentalists will never allow it to happen, so. But the, the problem is that that's our environmentalists. The other people will simply drill and will care darn. And oil firms start U.S. Gulf evacuations due to weather. Yeah, because they uh, they always would come. They always get off the rigs when the weather turns bad because it's sensible. Even though they're built to stand hurricanes, they nobody wants to ride out a hurricane on an oil rig. It'd be like out in the middle of a of a you know a, an ocean liner in the middle of a of a storm. You know when it's bouncing up and down. No, no fun. And Marco Bats' year old fun boost faces revolt with. Oh yeah, they they uh, she's lost both both houses in Germany and she. When she loses her first vote of confidence, there'll be a new election and she'll be replaced with a fiscal responsible person. 
<laughs> because they now declared this morning, I heard the Obama people on, well, Germany is a great success story, despite the fact that, you know, that they have said, don't spend, don't do this, their economy is booming well. They got corrected this, corrected right afterwards. In fact, the German economy is now going backwards like the rest of Europe's economy. Oh, really? Yeah, it has had an effect. And why isn't Paul Ryan on the debt super committee? Because he actually wants to stop spending, and the people on the committee are basically spenders, so. Oh, and sales of gold up on eBay and <coughs> stock market turmoil. Yeah, I mean, basically, the people that have lost fortunes are now making money again because the... Uh, you know, they, they, they know, okay, here's September. Generally, they've only had one up September since the, the Great Fall, Great Depression, and, and that was last year. And oh, really? Yeah, September is generally a bad month, so. And a Monty bubble isn't for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. You know, actually, the sad part of, uh, about the network news and the news on cable is that most of the news people are actually ours as incompetent as you think they are.